and the murder of a man on Saturday in Mlango Kubwa area of Madare. Police in Nairobi last night gunned down four suspected gangsters in Mlango Kubwa, Madare and recovered a Glock pistol loaded with four rounds of ammunition. The gangsters are said to be behind the killing of an administration police officer who was on his way from work. Protests erupted and continued for the better part of Tuesday evening in the Mlango Kubwa area of Nairobi following the alleged shooting to death of a man by police officers. By an officer who was after an offender who had snatched a mobile phone. Juja Road was impassable for hours. This after detectives closed the road in a bid to smoke out suspected thugs who have been terrorizing residents and motorists in Madare and other areas of Nairobi. Yeah, that's right. Langokubwa is one of the most notorious ganghood in Nairobi. And today I am back on a journey that most people and YouTubers fear to feature. Such that when you check on social media, you'll find lesser or even no video about this area, apart from those of the mainstream media that cover news. We visit Mlango Kubwa in Nairobi and get to understand how lifestyle is in this neighborhood. Without much ado, let's roll in the streets of Mlango Kubwa. Welcome guys to Mlango Kubwa, which is located in Madare constituency. Right here we have Madare National Teaching and Referral Hospital. And the place is actually just after Thika Road. This is the road that's leading you to this place. And let's go and explore Mlango Kubwa. Which back in the days used to be super super dangerous place. This place right here. It is a mixture of middle and lower class community. So of course the people that are living here and the structures that you will find here are not that good. But in some, there are some that are good. As you can see, these are corrugated. These are made of corrugated. Just around this uh, river. There is a river right here. I'm going to show you. But still, the crime rate in this area has reduced. But it's not yet uh, that safe. The place still has lots of gangs. Most of the gangs do reside in this area. We also have a pickpocket. We also have uh, things like um, snatchers, those using motorbikes. Most of them reside in this area. And the, the gangs here are super, super powerful, so that they, some of them, they do have weapons. I'm not talking of machete, no. I'm talking of ammunition. Yeah. Decide that serious that they do, some of them do hold ammunition. So living here and surviving here is one of that. It is not an easy task. Uh, this is the river here. Uh, this during the demolition of houses in riparian land. That's why I see this place was demolished. These are the kinds of the houses that were in this area. There are some routes that are, are no go zone in this area. It's 
especially when you are new. At least you must have a local to guide you in those routes. Someone who is known. But when they see a new face in this area, you are a target. You are a target. These are the stalls just alongside the road. This is where business does go on. This is the residential part. These are the apartments. It's just like just any other area. The big concern here is security. Security is what is a big concern here. The flats you are seeing on the other side, that is Pangan. This is a neighbor. Uh, Pangan is a neighborhood of this area. Water in this area is a problem. Water business here, people are, are really doing business on water here. This fresh water. So, most probably, that one jar, uh, one bottle. 20 liter of the water cost around 20 to 50 Kenya shillings. Normally ranges there.
We are in the streets of Mlango Kubo, guys. Streets are full here. the streets of Mlango Kubwa, such a vibrant area, too many businesses. This is road. This road That is the business that goes on here. Lango Kubo is actually also another neighborhood to Isili. Isili is just on the other side. Yeah, they have a gas station. Filling station. Street vendors are so many in this area, man. There are so many. Water is a problem.
said is more developed than the other one. It's because of the flood that these guys are building here. They are developing, they are transforming the place into these high-rise apartments. Such a those are such a the apartments that are coming up. So this place is really transforming. Street business, street vendors, always vibrant here in Nairobi. Nangokuba is not that big because it is under Madare. So Nangokuba is part of Madare. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my another video. This is St. Teresa Girls School. Right here. See you guys.